Sarah Marcarme, a known weaver for kidding. This weaver is in the place of Nyapin, uh, which, is, uh, which falls under Gurukume district, Arunachal Pradesh. So this weaver is called as a uh, kidding. So this is my forefather, uh, this is the river where my forefathers, my grandfathers, my fathers have uh, kidding river. And these forests are my forefathers, grandfathers, and my fathers. Uh, hunting ground. So today I'm going to show you one unique technique of catching fish. The technique is known as Langkum. Actually the Langkum is a construction of house, like uh, putting the stone together layer after layer for the fish to live in. These Langkum are constructed mostly in the winter season, like uh, from the month of November, October, November, December, and January. These uh, months are cold season, so even in the river, fish, fish are you know, cold. So they search for the warmer places. So Nisi people of Arunachal Pradesh uh, have developed one technique called Langkum. So they construct houses for the fish in the river where the fish comes and they stick there, they go there, they stay there and feel warm. So now I'm going to show you how the Lankum is being constructed. Now this is where the Lankum has been constructed by my father for me. He wanted to treat me so he has constructed some Lankum for me. So I have removed the heading part, especially the Lankum is of two parts. The, the stomach part and the heading part. I have removed the heading part over here I have removed those stones now I'm gonna put in that gateway this uh, the equipment called other this is called as other made of cane and you know bamboo the function of this instrument is this this other is put in the gateway of the lankum where the fish comes and goes out so you can see the alignment of uh, other here the fish can go inside but they can't come out from this other. So this is the heading part where the fish goes inside and you can take out the fish from here. This has been tied up, this is called as a uh, nuzzle where the fish comes out. So I'm gonna put this other in the front, I mean the get, gateway where the fish goes outside and inside. So this has become the trap for the fish. So fish is inside the lung room, so I'm gonna put this other in the gateway. So I'm now putting the other over here. This is the gateway. So I'm blocking the gateway of the uh, lung room. These are the leaves, so I'm gonna uh, put those leaves in those uh, spaces from where the uh, fish can't go away. So I'm putting those uh, leaves in there. Okay, we are now removing the stone boulders put upon those stone layers. These boulders are put uh, on the lungpum so that the fish uh, stay inside till swamp. If they stay inside, if the places, if the lankum is warm, then they can't, they won't run away from the lankum to the different places. So this is the technique of, you know, let the fish stay inside. So this is the technique. So we are now removing the stones layer after layer. Uh, yeah, now my brother has removed almost all the layers of the stones. And the, you know the river is, uh, the water is very cold, you can see my old skins, it has become ready, it is, it is due to the cold, the water is freaking cold, believe me the water is very cold. So here my brother is removing the stone layers, so you can see him working. Now I'm going to show you uh, the rough technique, you know, the stones are put 
layer after layer. So I'm going to show you the rough idea how the lung coma will be constructed. First of all, they choose a place, a right place. The person who prepares lung cum choose a place. So they, uh, you know, they dig the places and then they put stone and they collect some uh, flat stones and they keep in such a way and then they put such a way layer after layer but they make sure that inside the layer there are spaces for the fish to come and live in so this is how the lanterns are constructed so my brother over there is removing all those layers in that gateway you can see the brown part there is other the equipment the fish inside those layers will be so away by my brother towards that you know towards that other so fish will go inside that other so he's removing the stone layers now he's removing the innermost layer of the lantern. Innermost layer is the places where the fish usually stays. Because the innermost layer of the lantern is the warmest place in the lantern. So my brother is, is removing the you know the innermost layer of the lantern. So after removing you know the innermost layer, we're gonna take out that other. According to my brother, he says that there are fish inside that, you know, that innermost layer. I hope our mission would be a successful one. So he's rechecking the fish. You can see there is removing the, you know, stone boulder. Last layer. Last layer is called as, uh, you know, Water in our Nisi language of Arunachal Pradesh is making sure that no fish, uh, you know, run away or the fish gets inside the other. So he's checking Now, my brother have took out the instrument for other so he's checking whether there are fish inside or not. And you can see here, this is one of the fish called as Mucher. Oh, we got it. There are a lot of fish inside. So you can hear the, uh, the fish are beating around the other. So you can hear the sound of fish beating around the other. I'm going to show you. I hope you can see it. The white patches over there are the fish. We got it. This is about like 4 kg of fish. We got 4 kg of fish. Our mission is uh, a complete, I can say. Now we are putting the fish inside this uh, bag called Lara, which is made of, you know, a cane, jungle cane. So we call this uh, bag as Nara in our New Zealand language. So you can see we are, uh, you know, removing the fish uh, from this nuzzle. I hope you can see the fish going inside this Nara. There are more fish inside this other, so my brother is he is trying, uh, to, take trying to take out those out fish those inside. Fish. Yeah, that's all. Now you can see the fish here. There are a lot of fish inside. I hope you can see it. This is called as Muryang in our Nisi language. Uh, it looks are really interesting there are a lot many fish i hope you can see it you know this is about 
four or five kg. So you can say our construction of Langpum is a successful one. Oh my god, it's freaking cold. We broke one more Langpum over here. This is the place where we broke one more Langpum. But we got very less fish over here. It's very less compared to the previous Langpum. And um, now I'm feeling really cold. It's freaking cold. You can see my hands, it's all fridge. You can see it. It has turned to reddish color. Um, uh, I'm feeling really cold. So now we're gonna go there. My brother has light a fire over there. I hope you can see smoke coming out. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna kick cook some more uh, fish and we're gonna eat there, so I'll meet you there. I'm feeling so cold, I'm now here near the fire. I can feel the warm now. And you can see here, my brother is cooking the fish for me. So we're gonna cook this here, and we're gonna eat now with food. Just so you can see my hand, it can't even, you know, uh, it's not flexible now due to the cold. Uh, if I not get if I not get warm, I'm surely gonna freeze over here. So I'm warming myself near this fire. Uh, a hard work had work. It was though a hard work but it was a cold work at the same time. So these are the fish. Uh, we burn up, so it's very delicious. You can see the fish uh, I'm eating. It's mm, really delicious. It's far more better than eating in the uh, you know in the home. Eating in the jungle has it's a, its own special and its own test. So this is really testy it's really delicious uh, I cook this fish in this fire so it's really delicious and you know uh, the way we are, we are doing has no ecological effect because we do this in once in a year so we do this only in the cold season so this don't have any ecological you know, balance. This practices has been uh, continuing <laughs> since <laughs> my forefathers, my grandfathers, my fathers, and I'm still continuing it. It's a part of our culture <laughs> and our tradition. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I just wanted to say that <laughs> it has no ecological uh, uh, effect. Thank you. Sure.